do-it-yourself centerpiece will be focused around graduation. It's that time of the year when we have all types of graduations, whether it's high school, college, preschool, kindergarten, sixth or eighth grade, we're finding that a lot of our clients are ordering the 2012 number as well as a, um, a guest of honor name for their centerpieces. So follow along, this is a simple easy one and it looks great on the graduation table. Here are the supplies that you will need for today's graduation centerpiece. We have our guest of honor's name, Brittany, graduating year 2012. We have our styrofoam base, a little bit of ting ting, a couple of wooden skewers, a couple of uh, gold star sprays. Not sure if I'm going to use those yet or not, but we're going to try it out. And then we have our foil tissue, as well as some curling ribbon. So here we go. We have our 2012, and we have our guest of honor's name, Brittany, and we have our styrofoam base, which was what we'll start with. And um, what I've already done is I've already spray painted these. You guys already know how to do that. I've showed you before. Just make sure that when you use your spray paints, that you um, that you don't spray too closely because it is. Uh, styrofoam and it will melt if you're not using an H2O based uh, spray paint. So right now I just I'm going to take some of my foil tissue and I'm going to place this into my centerpiece. I have both blue and gold uh, tissue and I'm going to take the gold tissue and that's going to go around the perimeter. Now you've seen me with these before, these little picks, they go I put them on the end of the uh, tissue and that just makes it a lot easier to push it into the foam. You don't need a lot of tissue. Some people really overdo it with the foil tissue. They put mounds and mounds of it and it's really not necessary. It's really an accent and um, you know it, it looks fine if you just have a few tissue, foil tissue in there, pieces of foil tissue. And I'm just making a small circle here with the tissue. And whenever I do these centerpieces, you'll notice that I always leave a blank space here. That's for you to put a balloon weight on if you want to have some balloons on your table. Um, sometimes I'll wrap a balloon weight like a little package and put it on there, but it's always big enough for you to put a little weight and then have your balloons coming up from the weight. Okay, then I'm just going to take my blue tissue and I'm going to put that in the middle of the centerpiece just to give it a little color because these are our graduates school colors, blue and gold. So we just have enough tissue just to, you know, make it look nice. You don't have to overdo it on the tissue. See, that looks cute. Next we're going to add our 2012 year, graduating year, and we're also going to add our guest of honor's name, Brittany. I just haven't decided whether I want to put Brittany lower and 2012 higher or the other way around. Um, I guess for this one we'll put the 2012 a little bit higher. So what I've done is I have taken a wooden skewer, the kind that you use for the barbecue, and um, I have just, what I did was, I just took the sharp point and I stuck it into my styrofoam shape. Normally I would glue this, okay, when you're actually, you know, using them on a table. This is for demonstration purposes only. And then I'm going to push my um, skewer down into the styrofoam. And that may be a little bit high. I'm going to see um, how Brittany looks. And, um, well, maybe not. Maybe that's good. Okay. So I'll take the other skewer and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the sharp end of my skewer and I'm going to stick it into my styrofoam. And like I said, I would normally glue these. And let's see. Oh, this, this one needs to be a little bit shorter 
So what all I'm going to do is I'm going to break this a little bit, this wooden skewer. Just broke it off, that's all. And then I'm going to push it down into my styrofoam. Sometimes you gotta get it just right. There we go. That looks good. There we go. And then we'll just fluff up our papers here. Our foil tissue. And like I said, I would definitely glue these in so that they stay in place. Mine is just demonstrating. But that looks really cute so far. Okay, so let's add a few little embellishment. Alright, we're gonna use um these little gold squiggles, they're called Ting Ting, just in case you've never heard of them before. And Ting Ting is nice because it just adds a very subtle, nice little embellishment to your centerpiece. And they're they're just nice, they're easy, you just push them into your styrofoam and become kind of squiggled up. They come in a big, huge package. You get so much of this Ting Ting for such an inexpensive price. Look how nice this looks. Now here's where my turntable comes in play. Okay, so I don't have to run around my centerpiece all the time. I just can use my turntable to look and see how nice that looks. This looks great. I'm really happy with it. Love it. Look how nice that looks. Isn't that cute? I was actually going to use some of these gold stars, these little sprays. Uh, I think we could probably put a couple of these in too. I don't like to overdo it. Sometimes less is more. You really don't need to use a ton of material. Um, like I said, less is more and sometimes, you know, just a little bit adds a lot. So. Originally, I was going to use this uh, curling ribbon on uh, on the centerpiece as an embellishment, but honestly, I think it looks nice just the way it is, so I've decided not to use the curling ribbon on this particular centerpiece. So there you have it. It's nice, it's easy, it's quick. Um, it's extremely inexpensive to make, but looks like um, you know a really awesome centerpiece. Thanks for watching. And remember, for all of your styrofoam shapes, centerpieces, um, names, letters, numbers, please go to styroscript.com. And uh, until next time.